Hello, welcome to another reading vlog. It's friggin' freezing! I don't know why it suddenly got so cold again, but I swear it's snowing right now. Like, very light dusty snow. I, I wish it wouldn't, because I'm going to London tomorrow and I'm driving, but it's fine. It, it's not heavy. I don't feel like it's settling level snow, but I am warm and cosy in my flat. This vlog, I want to just, just do an all weekly reading vlog, but I want it to be kind of a nod towards looking after yourself and mental health and just having those moments of calm and those little things that you do that make you feel good and make you feel yourself. And I just wanted to have a vlog dedicated to that. So this is very much about appreciating the moment, which is why the start of this vlog was me making pancakes <laughs> and streaming, because those are things I enjoy to do. I played a bit of Animal Crossing, which is just a nice, calm, mindful game and eating pancakes is a, a nice, calm, mindful activity, unless you burn them, in which case it, it can quickly turn. And actually, do you know what I did actually? <laughs> I set off my smoke alarm and I felt really bad for my neighbours. I mean, it wasn't like too early in the morning, but it was a Sunday and I, yeah, I set the smoke alarm off because I forgot to put the extractor fan on, but we live and we learn, it's fine. Anyway, <laughs> for this vlog, I don't know what I'm reading yet, so that is the first activity of the introduction of this vlog, is picking my next read. I have a couple of books in mind, but I really want to pick a book that is like a self-indulgent book, a book that I am just really fancying, and that is the only reason I'm picking this up. I'm not specifically picking it up for any review reasons, for any video reasons, for any other reason than I just want to sit and chill and enjoy that book. I mean, obviously any book that I pick up and read I want to pick up and read it when I'm doing theme vlogs and stuff, but there's no theme to this vlog, so basically I'm just gonna pick whatever I fancy the most, so let's go do that now. Okay, I've had to leave the warmth of my blanket to do this, which I'm not too happy about, but <laughs> in the running we have got The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. This is a thriller, it's an isolated thriller, I love these kind of books. They just make me feel completely absorbed and always very cosy because I'm not in the crap situation that they're in. I got this one last week, so this one is definitely one I want to get to quite soon, so this is in the running. Also really in the mood for a fantasy at the moment, so we've also got The Daughters of Istiha by Hadir Elspay, or Elspar, I need to look at the pronunciation of that author's name. But this one looks really good, this is an adult fantasy that's kind of elemental magic, which I love. So potentially this one as well. And I have got Looking Glass Sound Through, which is Katrina Ward's latest book. This is an arc. This one comes out in April. There we go. So I'd really like to read this one. Well, I'm definitely going to read this one this month, but I don't know if this will be the one that I read this week or not. I'm not sure. I'm really looking forward to this one. Oh, do you know what? This would make sense because I'm going to be next week. I'm going to be doing a themed vlog for two weeks and I don't think this is going to fit into it. Maybe this one? Okay, these are the books currently in the running and I honestly don't know. We have merits for each of them. The Writing Retreat... I think is going to be addictive. I think I'm going to read it quite quickly and just be fully immersed in it and that is kind of what I want at the moment. Looking Glass Sound, very highly anticipated. I love Katrina Ward's writing. I do still need to read Sundial actually, so I, I'm saying this based off of one book, but The Last House on Needless Street was fantastic. In fact, it's just there. So this one I would love to get to soon because this comes out in April and I would have liked to have finished it before then. And then we have The Daughters of Izdiha, which I think looks fantastic. I really am in the mood for a fantasy at the moment. I'm going to be honest, I feel like it's going to be one of these two. Maybe I should do a first page preview and see which one I like the best based on that. I feel like you've seen every angle of my flat in the course of a few minutes in this vlog, but this is the one I'm going to go for. I just read the first page of this and also the writing retreat, and I think this grabbed me in more. I'm just really in the mood for a fantasy at the moment, so I'm going to go for this one. Okay, just before we get any further into this vlog, I just wanted to shout out to today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. So obviously I've mentioned that we're kind of touching on mental health stuff in this vlog, just talking about appreciating the moment, doing the things that you enjoy and make you feel like you, so I thought this would be a perfect fit for BetterHelp, who are the largest, or the world's largest therapy platform. They are making sure that therapy is not only affordable and accessible, but also convenient, which just opens so many doors. I have had many, many different therapists over my lifetime and having been diagnosed with OCD at the age of 14, I have tried many different routes and it's always tricky to know what works and to have that open dialogue and to be able to build that trust. But the way that BetterHelp makes their platform so accessible, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, just enables those conversations to flow a lot easier, which is such a valuable thing. It is not always easy to talk about your mental health. There is always a taboo and a stigma around it and I hate that about it. I always try and be as open as I possibly can about my mental health. But I think when 
with the way that BetterHelp are making everything so much more accessible, it just helps so much to be able to have that chat. I've had to change therapy services quite a lot in the past because I've moved, which has meant starting the relationship all over again and has been a really difficult thing to do. But with BetterHelp, this wouldn't be an issue because they're based online. So you'll be matched with a therapist tailored to your needs based on a survey you'll fill out and you can contact them at any time. This service is really, really working toward its user's need, which is so important when it comes to asking for help. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com forward slash books nest. Everything you need is linked down below in the description. Thank you so much better help for sponsoring my content. Hello my dudes, it is Wednesday. <laughs> my brain is farting mega hard today, okay? I was out all day yesterday. There is a vlog coming because I just thought that would be fun. So I was out in London yesterday, went to see the Moulin Rouge with my mum. It was amazing, it was amazing. The vlog, the vlog will go into more detail. But I got back, we got back very late or early <laughs> into the early hours of this morning. So I haven't really had a full night of sleep because I woke up quite early as well. So my brain's farting is the conclusion for this. I've had to film videos today and I feel like I've started every video with being like, I'm sorry. So I'm starting this update the same, but I haven't really read much of this. <laughs> However, I just want to come by and say how much I'm enjoying this so far. Literally 20 pages in, like can't emphasize that enough. I haven't read much. However, this is exactly what I fancied. It is an elemental fantasy. It's feministy, which I really enjoy. I am really liking everything we have that is the feminist side of things at the moment. We have two different characters that we have seen so far, or two big main characters. One of them is trying to carve a different life to herself from the one that her parents, or her mum her is specifically trying to push her towards. The other woman is part of a women's rights movement that she is trying to launch. And we're following her at the moment in the chapter that I'm reading and I'm just really enjoying reading her story as well and the struggles and the oppositions against doing this. So I'm really liking both of those sides of things. I haven't really seen too much of the fantasy yet, but it's just a fun, easy read and it's really beautiful descriptions already. And it just feels like it's gonna be really good. It's just what I fancy. I was just filming my wrap up for February and I realized the physical reads, I hadn't really read so many novels that I had been enamoured with recently and I want to change that so I am going to try and listen to my brain a bit more with what I fancy and just go guided with that. I mean obviously I do try and do that anyway but I feel like my audiobook reads have been real successes at the moment and I think that's something that possibly, I was talking to my mum about this because she was saying she had the same issue and she listens to a lot of audiobooks and she was saying that physical reading just she's not reading as many good physical books anymore and I think it's because my brain is so used to now listening to stories and being able to do things whilst I listen and I'm so busy all the time that being able to do that is a massive asset to me but I actually think as well it's kind of causing me to rely on my audiobook sometimes and sometimes when I'm reading a physical book I think oh, I'll just get that on audio so I can listen to it whilst I'm doing something as well and then I end up just finishing it as an audiobook instead of a physical read and I think that that is causing me to physically read less and listen to audiobooks more but I don't want to physically read less so I think I'm just trying to get myself back into the habit of that and slow down because as the theme of this vlog is actually <laughs> aptly I thrive on being busy I am always very busy but I enjoy it I know to take regular breaks and I am good at making myself take those breaks and making myself integrate my downtime into my planned schedule like I'm good at doing that and when I'm saying plan schedule like I don't have a rigid like I must do this at this time but like obviously when I create content I need to know when I'm filming and what I'm filming at what time and when I'm doing live streams and stuff so it does all need to be to be planned but I do make sure to have that downtime and I think this is for me also about reminding myself that that downtime can be sitting and reading a book I just tend to scroll on my phone a lot for that downtime I watch tv and scroll through my phone I've been playing a lot of games recently but I also stream a lot on twitch so that it's kind of integrating those two so whilst it is fun and it isn't something that I'm taking too seriously it is still something I'm streaming so I'm still live but to just sit and read can just be for me. I know I'm talking about it in this content and I enjoy doing that and I'm always gonna like doing that. But just sitting down and reading is mine and that is for me. I may talk to the camera about the book afterwards and I may film little bits of b-roll whilst I'm sitting down and reading but the majority of that time is just me sat and enjoying the book and I think that is incredibly important for my brain. So that's the intention as I said behind this week anyway now the busy things are out of the way for the week i intend to read a lot tomorrow tomorrow's world book day i'm doing sprints with gavin and we're basically just going to be reading all evening so i'm really looking forward to that that is thoroughly needed but anyway just quick update also i've got the fairy loot adult box for 
February, I guess it would be. Yeah, that would make sense because that's the month we just en exited out of to unbox. So I'm going to unbox that now. If you don't want to see what that book is, then I will leave a timestamp here. Just jump to this part in the video and I will be done. When I tell you the relief that this was the adult box arriving and not the full February box, <laughs> I thought I was going to have to unbox the full February today and I just have just filmed or finish one video and film the whole other. And as I said, my brain brain farting hard today. I just, I didn't know how well that would go. So I'm glad that this is just the adult box. I am a rep for Fairy Loot, so that does mean I get this box as part of my rep term with them. But if you would like to receive a discount off of the YA book box, you can use the code I do believe in fairies at checkout to receive 5% off the first box in your monthly subscription. As per, I have no idea what this book is, but the theme is A Voyage of Chaos. Okay, I didn't know Fairy Loot were doing this. This is so pretty. This is The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi, and this is by Shannon Chakraborty. Look how pretty this is! Well, this is beautiful. I had no idea that Fairy Loot were going to be doing an edition of this. This is so stunning! Okay, right, hang on, let's have a look under the. <gasps> okay, these might be some of my favourite end pages. Look at that map! I was actually looking at atlases and globes yesterday. I'd really love a globe in my home, and this is, I mean, I know this is just a printed map here, but it's making me want a globe even more. Is the back the same? There's a cat! Okay, I'm excited. Let's have a look, as I was doing, under the dust jacket. <gasps> Fairy loot! Look at that moon phase design! Oh my god. Okay, well this is beautiful. <laughs> okay, so this is about a retired pirate who's thrust into a swashbuckling adventure full of magic and mayhem, all for one final attempt to secure her legacy. You can expect, ex oh, blah, blah. you can expect to encounter pirates, sorcerers, and ancient mysteries best left unburied. As we sail further into the sea, both the tide and the stakes get higher and higher. Buckle up, it's a wild one. This exclusive Fairy Loot edition has a redesigned cover by Michael Alcano, Alcano Design. When it's one word and it's written down as a handle, I, I feel like I'm always getting these wrong. Mikhail, Michaela, Michaela, Michaela Alcano Design, Michaela Alcano Design. I'm gonna go with that. It could be wrong. That's what I'm gonna go for. Digital sprayed editors, foil on the front and back of the hardcover, also by the same artist, and artwork on the end pages by Nears, Near Near 4Z, sorry, N-I-R 4Z. I'm doing really well today. With foil details, a digital signature, and bonus content. Well, this is very pretty. Thank you so much, Fairy Loop, for sending this my way. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. It's Wednesday, so I don't work my day job on Wednesdays. I do freelance bits on Wednesday, but I think I'm also just gonna dedicate some time to just chilling this afternoon. I have a pizza that I realized I could have for dinner and I forgot I had it in my fridge. And when I saw it this morning, I was like, yes, thank you. I really want an Easter egg as well. Do you eat Easter eggs before Easter? Because I do. And someone saw me doing this recently and was shocked. I can't remember who I was with, but they were shocked that I did this. I thought it was normal. I mean, it's just, good chocolate. Anyway, I'm gonna do things now. I don't know what they're gonna be. I'm gonna put away the stack of books I have next to me because I just filmed my wrap up for February. Why can't I not remember what month things are? Oh my brain. <laughs> okay, right. It's all good. I will speak to you probably not later today because let's face it, I don't think anyone needs to hear from my brain again today. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow sounds good. It's World Book Day tomorrow. I'm good, definitely going to speak to you tomorrow. Hello, happy World Book Day. If I sound a bit out of breath, it's because I've just legged it back home. I'm doing sprints in six minutes, <laughs> so cutting it nice and fine, but I just needed to get outside for a little bit because sprints start at five, which is obviously in six minutes, and I finish work at 4.30. So I tried to go for a quick walk and now I'm just very hot and uh, out of breath because I realised halfway through that I had to turn back quite quickly and get home. And here I am. What a story. Okay, right. I do actually have something exciting to show you. I have a parcel. I started to open it and then something distracted me clearly. But this is a bit of a chunky tome. It is a day of full night. Look at her. Look at her. She's so pretty. I love the colors of this cover. Just generally, this whole series has really, really pretty covers. I basically just wanted to show you that before I go live, but look how chonky. I have read this. I did have the arc. I have a reading vlog that I'll pop up here. It was a definitely very heavy political fantasy. It's not light going. This is a prequel to Pride of the Orange Tree. Obviously that means this comes first, so you can read this one first if you want to, but if you have read Priory first, it's not a big deal. I gave it a rating that I can't remember. Uh, what did I give it? I gave it four stars, just text on Goodreads. So I now have to find a place for this. On my shelf, <laughs> I thought I had made space, 
but I think that might be a bit ambitious. Hang on a sec. Really thought I could fit it in here, but I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't actually think I could do that. So hang on, I think I'm gonna move out these. There we go, with a bit of room to spare. Okay, I do have to go and jump on sprints now. Sorry, this has been a really quick update, but hi. Saturday, it is the weekend. This week has really taken it out of me. I think I've had a really heavy brain week. I've just been doing so many things. I was in London on Saturday last weekend and then I was in London again on Tuesday this week. And they were so close together, driving in and then driving back really late that I think it's just wiped me out exhaustion level but then my brain has just had a massive brain fart all week because I have been so busy and I've had so many videos that I'm working on at the moment and I'm so glad that I have been able to work on them this week and been able to get them scheduled in because it means that now I don't have to do any of that next week apart from edit this video but I just my brain and my body are just like stop now please. <laughs> so on that note I just want to talk about this very quickly before I head out. Rest and relaxation looks very different for different people. For me a recharge might involve going out into nature, immersing myself in a forest, walking around, enjoying being in that environment. It might in involve sitting down on the sofa for an hour and just watching something and just having that time but for me anything longer than that for example can become a bit boring and I find myself like itching to do something at that point I don't feel like I'm relaxed anymore, I feel like I'm just getting irritated with being sat there. So for me different things work to make me feel relaxed and it depends what my brain and my body needs and I think there's different types of exhaustion as well. I think your body could be exhausted in which case you do physically need to stop moving but sometimes it's your brain that's exhausted and that is a totally different feeling and a different way to be able to recoup and to be able to relax and that is when for example for me going on a really lovely walk somewhere in the forest on my own usually is what helps me recharge my brain and just center it back again and feel like I've, I've given it the relaxation that it needs. That might be sitting and reading, that might be drawing or watching a film or creating something. That helps me reset my brain and have that relaxed feeling. It's the same kind of endorphins I think that comes from when you have a to-do list and you tick something off on it. It's like knowing I have done something good and something that is going to help me and that doesn't necessarily need to mean that what I'm doing is working. <laughs> and I think that it's important to acknowledge those things because this week has been really busy for me but I have still made sure that I've had those moments whether it has been sitting down and just having dinner whilst watching a tv show for 45 minutes rather than sitting at my desk or whether it's been sitting and reading on my Patreon live streams because for me that is a massive way that I relax because I know I'm just sitting down and reading for that time. Anything like that just helps me to know I have done those activities and I think in a week like this where the week has got away from me it's just reminding myself to make time for that so yeah I think that's important and I think it's important to acknowledge that we all approach relaxation and downtime in different ways and that's totally okay. So my plan for today, <laughs> saying that I've had a really busy week, I am out today but tomorrow I am in. I'm probably going to stream tomorrow but I think that's the only thing that I really am going to be doing other than just chilling and probably sorting some bits out around my flat. So today I am going to see my friend Connie at a National Trust property that I've completely forgotten the name of. Hang on. I do need to know the name because I'm leaving shortly. It's called Humanden Manor. So it's a lovely house and grounds so we go to National Trust places in between us every few months and make sure that we plan to see each other. I always, with my friends, when I see them, we make the date for the next time we see each other so it definitely happens because otherwise I feel like I get stuck in the oh we must do something soon phase and then you just never do. <laughs> so we do that and we basically plan to go to a National Trust property in between us each time. So that's going to be really good. I'm really looking forward to that. I also want to give you a reading update in a second but I'm going to be filming some footage today and I'm going to be using my DJI Osmo Pocket 2 which I showed in my Paris vlog but it's this little camera now this is a very diddy little pocket camera. I wanted to get this as an option to get really lovely footage and use it in a cinematic way instead of having to bring my camera everywhere. And since doing that, I have kind of tapped back into my love of photography. I've always loved photography. Obviously that's hopefully something that's apparent in the fact that I post really regularly to my bookstagram account, but I wanted to be able to get this so that I didn't have to bring my camera everywhere. And since I have been bringing my camera everywhere, so today, 
I'm just gonna bring this with me because it's so diddy, it's so cute, and I really love the fact that it's on this little gimbal so that it gives you some really nice smooth motion. I mean, look at it, it's so cool. So I'm gonna be bringing this with me today, but I'm still not completely savvy with using it, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick it back on charge. So I'm definitely not completely savvy with using it, but I'm gonna use this as a little tester, so we'll see how that goes. But that is the plan for the rest of the day. I am nearly finished with the Daughters of Izdahar. I am really enjoying this. I read a lot of this on Patreon Live last night, and I'm now here. The feminist themes in this are fantastic. I love the different characters that we're following. The two main characters are so interesting and have such strong moral values and they will not waver on those values and I love that about them. I love that they are getting to know their abilities as adults as well. I really enjoy the way that there's there's not this level of perfection surrounding them, they are certainly still finding their way in the world and seeing how they can make a difference and have an impact and I really love that side of it as well. So that I'm all really enjoying. I really love the way that their two stories have woven together and the way that that's been done. I think that's that's been done in a really good way. Also enjoying the romances in this very much, enjoying the magic system, really want to know more about this elemental magic system and how it's come about because there's a lot of talk of the origin of this and why people have these abilities so I'm, in, I'm interested in the lore behind it as well but I am really loving this I think at the moment it's sitting as a solid like 4 to 4.5 stars I'm intrigued to see how it ends because at the moment we're in some quite high action points and everything is building towards this big catalyst so I'm interested to see how it ends I know this is a duology so I feel like it's probably gonna leave me on a cliffhanger but I am excited to find out so I will let you know when I finish this. I'm hoping that I finish it tomorrow. I might finish it today if I sit down and read this evening which I probably will but I yeah I'm really loving it so I'm really glad that I chose to pick this one up. Okay I'm gonna head off now but I hope that you enjoy the footage that is hopefully good quality from my Osmo Pocket. Okay, it is Sunday night, I have not yet finished my book, and I'm probably gonna update you realistically tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try and finish it tonight. It is 7.30 at the moment, and I wanna sit down and eat and watch a film or something and also finish my book, but I just had a really long Twitch stream that lasted a lot longer than I necessarily expected it to, so it's kind of eaten into the finishing of the book time. However, it is all gonna happen, but I think I'm probably gonna update you in the morning because I need to wash my hair and get ready for bed, etc. So, I will let you know my thoughts on this book in the morning and wrap up this vlog then. But I've had a really good weekend. National Trust was lovely yesterday. It was so nice to do. I loved streaming today. I went for a really nice walk. It's been a good weekend. I feel like I've recharged. I definitely feel like on the sleep front, I've recharged, which is something I really needed to do. So I feel good. I feel ready for Monday, as ready as I can be. But I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, I finished The Daughters of Izdahar. It is currently Monday. Finished this last night. And I just wanted to give my final thoughts 
Wilson and my overall rating. Let me tell you, this book blew me away. I thought this was fantastic. If you are looking for an epic adventure action-packed journey with elemental magic, sapphic romance, Egyptian-inspired fantasy world, this is what you are looking for. I really, really liked this. Everything I've said up until this point is I'm not going to repeat myself, like that, that all still stands. The overriding thing for me in this that I loved was the talk of feminism and the talk of the rights that women in this book have and the challenges that they are facing and just not just accepting the answer you were given because you know it's not right and pushing and pushing and pushing and I just think that this book did a fantastic job of showing that journey and of that struggle and it, the way it ends has made me very very desperate for the sequel. I believe this is a duology, this first one came out in January this year I think so I assume I'm gonna have to wait till at least next year for the second one but I need it because this was so good and it's just definitely left me wanting more. This is where I, when I finish a book I don't want to then forget what happens in it and then by the time the sequel comes along not be as excited because right now I am very excited but I don't, I don't want that to wane because I know I'm gonna forget some of this plot because that's just what's gonna happen with the amount of books I'm gonna read in between this and the sequel coming out. But it was really, really good. It just, yes, I really liked it. I love the development that we saw from the characters and the way that they intertwined into each other's lives and the way that they cared for others around them. I think they're incredibly brilliant characters and I really loved following them and I loved seeing how they changed throughout this book. Just generally so much about this was absolutely fantastic. I would love to know more about this Egyptian inspired world. I feel like the next one is going to bring a lot more into that because of the way that this one ended which I, I won't expand on but I would love to see more of that and I'm so excited to see where this romance goes as well. It just oh it was fantastic. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. It didn't quite get into the 5 star category. I think it was like literally teetering there. But I run everything through Core Pile, which is a fair way to work out how I rate my books. And it was just on the edge. So it's a 4.5, but sneaking nearly into the 5 star category. So I love this. The theme for this last week was to kind of check in, to have those moments for myself, appreciate those little moments, and just make time for that and I think after having such a busy week I then had a really nice calm weekend and whilst I was actively doing things at the weekend and I was still essentially busy it was a different kind of thing and it was stuff that refueled my soul which made me feel good so I think the key thing is it's all about balance if you know you've got that really busy week just try and make time in the evenings or the weekend to have that balance and know that that balance is coming and that is the kind of the thing that will help you feel that calm relaxation and that chill at the end of having a week that has been non-stop. So it's been a good one. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. As I said at the start of this video, this has been sponsored by BetterHelp, so you can find everything you need for them. Link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you do to recharge your soul. Subscribe to see more of my face on your feed, and you can hit the little bell icon to be notified when I post. You can also find a link down below to my Patreon, which is one of the ways that I do recharge my soul. It's just lovely, dedicated reading time when we do our weekly reading sprints so that is all linked down below as is my online shop thank you so much for watching keep smiling and stay positive